Hi, in this video we are going to talk about how to connect the IP cameras from the local network instead of the PoE port at the rear of the PoE NVR. Here we got the 4 channel PoE NVR. These 4 are the PoE port. We are supposed to connect the camera to one of these PoE port. This port will supply both power and data to the IP camera. This is the LAN port, it's connecting to the major network, it's the router. So we can access the video through the mobile phone, PC computer, or table lab remotely. In some application, we may cannot wire the cable from the camera to one of these PoE ports. Let's say there's 1000 feet between the barn and the house. And we want to place this NVR at the house so we can have the live video on the monitor. But the camera is about 1000 feet far. We can use the PoE standard to repeat the network up to 1,000 feet. You can reference my another video, how to use the PoE standard to set up 1,000 feet PoE network. But if there's four cameras, it will be totally 4,000 feet. The distance is the problem. More serious is about the power. When we decide this PoE port, we suppose you just use the PoE less than 328 feet. Now we push to the 4,000 feet total. The power drop will become the issue, it may not, not have enough power to supply the IP cameras. But in this case, usually we have the power source at the bottom, right? So we don't need to send the power from the edge, we can place the, this PoE switch at the bottom. The, the PoE switch will get the power from the local and supply all the cameras. What we need to do is just wire the cable, set up network from the bottom, link this switch to our major network. Then we can connect the video from this router and display on the monitor. Okay, now let's, this is the cable coming from the house. I'm going to connect to one of the ports. And here, this is the cable linking to the edge switch. This switch not connect to this PoE port, we need to connect to the, just the LAN port. The next thing we need to do, let's move to the NVR. This is the menu of the NVR. Let me click the channel set. Click search. Now the NVR already discovered two cameras from the barn. Let's just let's add this camera to the NVR. Okay, the first channel become connected. Now let's add the second channel. We got two cameras connected. Let's click apply. Okay, I see the camera live. We got two cameras on the monitor. So in this application, we just use the cable to link the edge switch to the main network instead of one of these PoE port at the PoE NVR. The last thing you may wonder whether it's, it's good or not. Actually, in the major surveillance system, we don't use the PoE NVR, especially the middle or large surveillance system. We will use the PoE switch to connect all the NVR and also connect this camera to the PoE switch. This is the primary solution we use in the large or middle solution. The PoE NVR just for cost effective, cost down solution, so it will be fine. All the data will come into landing to this switch, to this router and reach to the NVR. All right, that's all for today's video. If you have any question, please post it in the comment section below. See you next time.